Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm Brother Bill, and this is Morning Prayer for Tuesday, June the 25th. It's the sixth week after Pentecost and week six in the Psalm Cycle. And thanks for joining me. Open my lips. My mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, God most high is sovereign. Let the earth rejoice and let the coastlands be glad. Alleluia. Psalms 97, 99, and 100. And please recite them with me. Alleluia, God most high is sovereign. Let the earth rejoice. Let the many coastlands be glad. Clouds and thick darkness are all around God. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of God's throne. Fire goes before you, O God, and consumes your adversaries on every side. Your lightnings light up the world. The earth sees and trembles. The mountains melt like wax before you, before the God of all the earth. The heavens proclaim your righteousness, and all the peoples behold your glory. All the servants of images are put to shame those who make their boast in worthless idols. All gods bow down before you. Zion hears and is glad, and the towns of Judah rejoice because of your judgments, O God. For you, O God, are most high over all the earth. You are exalted far above all gods. You who love the most high hate evil. God guards the lives of the faithful and rescues them from the hand of the wicked. Light dawns for the righteous, and joy for the upright in heart. Rejoice in the Most High, O you righteous, and give thanks to God's holy name. Alleluia. O God, you are King. Let the peoples tremble. You sit enthroned upon the cherubim. Let the earth quake. You are great in Zion, and exalted over all the peoples. Let them praise your great and awesome name. Holy are you. Mighty ruler, lover of justice, you have established equity. You have executed justice and righteousness in Jacob. Extol the Most High, our God, and worship at God's footstool. Holy are you. Moses and Aaron were among your priests. Samuel also was among those who called on your name. They cried to the Most High, and you answered them. You spoke to them in the pillar of cloud. They kept your decrees and the statutes that you gave them. O oh, Most High, our God, you answered them. You were a forgiving God to them, but an avenger of their wrongdoings. Extol the Most High, our God, and worship at God's holy mountain, for the Most High, our God, is holy. Alleluia. Make a joyful noise to the Most High, all the earth, and serve God with gladness. Come into God's presence with singing. Know that the Most High is God. God made us, and we are God. We are God's people and the sheep of God's pasture. Enter God's gates with thanksgiving and God's courts with praise. Give thanks to God and bless God's name. For the Most High is good. God's steadfast love endures forever and God's faithfulness to all generations. Alleluia. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. God most high is sovereign. Let the earth rejoice and the coastlands be glad. Alleluia. The Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 19, beginning at verse 23. Then Jesus said to his disciples, Truly I tell you, it will be hard for a rich person to enter the kingdom of heaven. Again, I tell you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for someone who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. When the disciples heard this, they were greatly astounded, and they said, Well, then, who can be saved? But Jesus looked at them and said, For mortals it is impossible. But for God, all things are possible. Then Peter said in reply, Look, we've left everything and followed you. What then will we have? And Jesus said to them, Truly I tell you, at the renewal of all things, 
when the Son of Man is seated on the throne of his glory. You who have followed me will also sit on twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. And everyone who has left houses, or brothers, or sisters, or father, or mother, or wife, or children, or fields, for my name's sake, will receive a hundredfold, and will inherit eternal life. But many who are first will be last, and the last will be first. Here reads the lesson. And now let us pray for the church and the world. For the mission of the church, that it may extend the peace and the love of Christ to all people. For Michael, our presiding bishop, for Jennifer Ann, our bishop, and for Brother Joe, our community servant, for all of our church leaders and for all clergy and ministers, that they may be ever faithful servants of word and sacrament. For unity in the church, that our scandalous divisions may be healed. For the poor, for the hungry and the thirsty, for the destitute and the unemployed, that we may share with them the riches of creation and free the world of poverty and famine. For Joe, our president, for Katie, our governor, and for all the leaders of this nation, city, and state. For the leaders of the nations of the world, that they may bring justice and peace in all the earth. That God, who's begun this ministry, may bring it to fulfillment. For all who've died, especially George, Brother Walter Arthur, and Father Tom. for all the victims of terrorism and violence, and for all who serve in harm's way. For those who are sick, for the aged and the infirm, especially those suffering with dementia, and for Bill and for all who struggle with addiction. For the resolve of the nations to address the climate change crises. For the mercy of God community, Brother Joe, Brother Tom, Brother Todd, Brother Richard, Brother Bill, Brother Max, Brother Bill, and all the mercy of God associates. Rejoicing in the fellowship of Francis and Claire and all the saints, let us commend one another and all of our lives to Christ our God. For the intentions of those who've asked our prayers and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. You love justice and establish equity for your people and for the nations of the earth, Almighty God. We exalt you with our tongues and worship you in our daily lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.